morning, everybody. Welcome to The Buzz with Cheryl. I hope you guys are waking up with a smile on your face. Feeling wonderful and amazing. I love you and I'm proud of you. And I'm glad that I have another chance to talk to you guys and wish you well. And um, I hope you are taking good care of yourself. And I hope that you are not um, <clears throat> making unnecessary sacrifices <laughs> with your body and your health. Uh, remember, you're the only one that's going to take care of you like you. In spite of how many loving and kind and caring people you may have in your world who would do anything for you, you still have to take care of yourself. You have to matter to you. So, what's on your mind? What's on mine? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what to talk about. Um, what are you thinking about? <laughs> you said, well, I was there. You probably said, well, I would, I would tell you. Well, leave me a comment. You don't have to, but. If you would do that, I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching my videos. Um, I appreciate that. I feel really good every time I am in a position to make another video to greet you. <laughs> it's exciting to me and it's a lot of fun. And it gives me um, joy just knowing that the few little words that I say um, are making a difference in um, some people's lives because some people do let me know. And I, I really value that. I never take people's time for granted. Um, even like I said, the fact that you even watch my videos, I just I'm just blown away by that. That's incredible. But um, just make sure you expect good things <clears throat> again i know i'm repetitive <clears throat> and i don't really care i want this message to hit home with you i wanted to hit home with you so much until you start doing it and if you've already been doing it i want you to i want it to hit home until you start doing it more until you become better at it and better at it so that um being good to yourself becomes an automatic not question like should i should i not what do i do always take care of yourself always do that um remember to um find someone that if you're going through some things that you can talk to freely without them judging you and making you feel like there's something wrong with you because you're having some difficulties that is not abnormal. We're all human. We all have things that we go through. And sometimes we do need encouragement. Sometimes we do need support. We're just not so good that we can just deal with everything and it never affect us because it is affecting us in one way or another. So make sure that you stay stocked up on good people, happy people, positive people, Encouraging people, supportive people, people who no matter what, they're not going to change on you. And if you can say, I have none of those in my life or my world, start looking around. Start expecting more from life. Start ex expecting, excuse me, better from life because you deserve better. And don't let yourself settle for people who are not... Um, kind to you, uh, who will sometimes, oftentimes tell you how good they are to you and how, um, how they treat you better than anybody. If someone has to tell you that, they're not treating you that well. Um, if someone is treating you well, you'll be the first person to know it. <laughs> I guarantee you, you will know before anybody if somebody is treating you well. And in the same breath, you will also be the first to know if they're not treating you well. So don't let 
those psychological games that people often play um, on us um, when we are kind of a free-hearted, open-minded type person. Um, because they'll really, those are the people they really will work on. People like that. They'll really try to make people who are like that. Just have an innocence about you. Try to make you feel inadequate. And then they'll turn around and be your biggest cheerleader. Those are very dangerous people. You're dealing with a very volatile um, personality type. I'm not saying they'll fight or do anything mean to you. But sometimes just saying unkind words is enough to just destroy you. If you hear them often enough, it could just take you down and you never get back up. I've seen people who've been crushed by the people's words. And um, they just lost all hope in themselves. And I've watched them die, literally. I literally have seen people physically die because of harsh treatment that they received from one person in particular. And they were never able to pull themselves back up. That is a tragedy. That is a tragedy. Because um, people will do that. And they will tell you, if it wasn't for me, you couldn't this. Or if it wasn't for me, you that. And you couldn't. And you and you and you and me and me and me. Those are not words to edify or encourage or build us up. Those are words that are harsh and meant to destroy us. And sometimes we are so sweet and kind, we just figure, well, we can make a difference in them. If we just stick by them and keep loving them. And and often that does happen. But that doesn't always happen. Sometimes we get destroyed in the um, process. And I'm all for self-preservation. I believe it. I believe in it with my whole heart and my soul. And just think about it. Weigh it out. If you're a person of prayer, pray it out. Um. Is this a relationship that is building me up or is it a relationship that is taking me down? Could be your spouse, could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, could be your mom, your dad, your kids, your neighbors, your colleagues from work, uh, people from church. I mean, it could be anybody. Um, if you're not getting some positive feedback from that person, and you have to beg for compliments or try to get them to say something nice to you. Those are not friends. A friend is always going to applaud you. They'll also tell you when you're not right. Because that's also being a good friend. Telling you the truth. Even if you don't want to hear it. Sometimes even risking losing you as a friend by being honest with you. So um, if you have to fish for compliments and try to get somebody to say nice things about you. That's not a friend. That's not somebody who won in your world. Um, you have to begin to see how wonderful you are. Uh, once you see how wonderful you are, you'll understand what a privilege it is to have you in someone's company because you're a delightful person. And you bring so many wonderful things into other people's lives just by being there. And if you don't see that about yourself, if you can't see how fantastic you are, there are people who will tell you the exact opposite. And you will buy in if you don't know this good stuff about yourself. So don't get caught in that trap of negativity. Um, and start thinking the worst of yourself. And if you've been in that trap, by all means, start getting out of there. I'm not trying to tell you to get a divorce or break up with somebody or leave this person or that person. I'm just saying, think about these things. And if uh, the friendship or the relationship you have with the person is contingent upon you continually taking uh, verbal abuse from that person. Physical and sometimes, I hope not, um, emotional abuse. Uh, if you are exposed to that continually and 
it never changes, there's nothing good about that. It's, um, they're going to destroy you eventually if you don't wake up. The good thing is we got every new day we wake up to start fresh, start new, make better choices, choose uh, higher quality people to be around us because we're higher quality. We deserve people who are of a high quality, a higher quality like we are. That's what we deserve. We don't deserve anything less. So <clears throat> when you find these kind of wonderful people, make sure you welcome them into your world. Um, sometimes we have to, um, because sometimes we'll, you know, we'll want better. At least we'll say that. And then better shows up. We get cold feet. We run back to what's familiar to us and what causes us to feel bad about ourselves? Yes, I've said this before. Yes, I do always say this. Yes, I'm going to continue to. Because these are lessons I want you to get. I want you to understand these things. I want you to see how valuable you are. How worthwhile you are. How much you matter. How genuine you are. How kind you are. How considerate. How unselfish you are. How loving you are. How fair you are. I want you to see that, how beautiful you are, how handsome you are. And if you're around people who are not saying those same things back to you, they have no business being in your world. None. None. And you're the only one that can get them out and might not feel comfortable because that familiarity trumps everything at the end of the day, to be honest with you. But you can help, you can overcome that. You can just say, well, I got to let the familiarity go. I can't say it'll be easy because it's not. I've had to do it all throughout my life as I've uh, gained knowledge about the people that have been around me. It never feels good. <coughs> Excuse me, it always feels terrible. And you're always second guessing yourself. I'm like, well, is it me? Maybe they're not that bad. I remember they did this for me and they did that for me. They are that bad. They are. And it takes courage to admit that. And, um, excuse me, I remember when my son was small. And um, he had a habit of, if a person was not a really good person, but he still liked them and he wanted them in, their li in his life, he would act like they were nice or they were good. And I used to tell him, I said, honey, um, are the only people you can love, do people, excuse me, do people in your world have to be heroes in order for you to love them? Can't you see people for who and what they are and still love them? And he, he couldn't. He had to make people who were not heroes into heroes in his mind. That's the way he had to see them in order to be able to deal with them. Because if he looked at them the way that they really were, he couldn't handle being around them. Like, I don't know, maybe he, he would have hated them. And I think even adults, we do that. You know, we have to pretend that people are a certain way. That way we can keep being around them. We can keep justifying their poor treatment of us. Um, it's not good. So, anyway, um, I won't see you again until Monday, but I will miss you and I will be thinking of you. And I'll be sending you good thoughts and good feelings and hoping you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And if you should run into some news that's not that happy or something um, should come your way that is not the best Still try to hold on to some peace in your mind and in your heart. Still try to work on keeping love in your heart. And um, keep your spirits up. Not saying it will be easy, but it is doable. So, again, I'm proud of you guys. Um, keep being amazing. 
And um, take good care of yourself. I love you. And I'll see you Monday. Peace. You know you my dogs. <laughs>